at me, I'm what you see But can you tell the price in here? I can tell you what I need A 20 quid will buy a bottle of tea this to understand and to educate there are going to be people watching this i think it's so important for them to also realize from a chick's point of view why shit works the way it works and why it should work the way it's a, you know like why that concept exists because as a guy i can i can tell you mm. that like any, anyone that i've hooked up with or whatever i've like asked every step of the way like obviously i don't control making out in the sense that not that i go out and do it but literally every time it's always been someone else and there's like a lead up to it where mm-hmm. like you're, you're holding someone, you go kiss. It's, it's yeah, very yeah. like making making out of something that just like happens. You know, I don't just walk down the street and like pull someone's fucking yeah. head and do sh- yeah. stupid shit like that. But after making out, like everything, like you go to second base or third base, for, like every step of the way, everything you do, I have asked like fucking one step up. And to the point was like, dude, like you know, we've already done shit. And I don't see why you're. Yeah. like I can't be fucked. You know. <laughs> I have to yeah, right yeah. and so, I've told others this yeah, yeah I get it I yeah. know that, and I've told guys this that hey dude it's good to enforce it's like best practice just just do it right and they're like nah dude we never felt the need to and I'm just like bro you <laughs> I'm telling you to do it like I'm telling you that there's a reason why you should because like people still get caught out for some stupid shit after yeah, that's you should <laughs> I guess I don't know Um, yeah but yeah, I think it's it's fairly like simple. You don't need to really ask if it's a hookup and all. Like, yeah, of course. Like, you know, are you into this? Yeah, I'm into this. Yeah. Finished. But if if like a girl is saying no, not in the mood, or no, or like even if a boy is saying no, not in the mood, it's a no. You know, like you stop it right there. So this is what I want to ask I you. Actually, How is I'll like persuasion? Persu- like not persuasion, but like just asking. Like the whole, you know. Um, so I don't mean to break your thought, but like it's just important. It was always a question which I people have different opinions to it. But if you go like, dude, I'm not in the mood, and the guy doesn't like force, but he's just like, Are, but come no. And yeah. then like you do that, like you have that back and forth, and then she's like, Are, yeah, fuck you, okay, fine, let's do it. Yeah. And she she just does it. She gets all mind fucked, and like mind fucked is she's just like, Are, yeah, I don't, up up, kush ho bas soja. Like it's the same thing as in your friend. Like you know, I'm just giving you a situation, right? Yeah, I understand. But is that is that really fuck do you consider that right? do you de- do you is, demonize the guy after that like no. make sure he he doesn't have a life afterwards because he convinced and the girl accepted not that he convinced she said no and he held her against her will just she just you know said oh fuck it fine yeah so in in this case i i still think like it's damn fucking annoying like if i'm ever put in that situation i would just get fucking like you know give the person the space that they're asking yeah. for and if you manage to, it's not convinced it's literally like you know her, like it's not harassment either but it's just that you know that annoying that irritating thing of just like let, let do it do it you know like when you ask your parents like give me this give me buy me buy me buy me that zid yeah that zid is yeah. too much it's like you know fuck it you know do it but like you don't enjoy it the guy just gets to come out of it like you know what what what, what? like if, no, if they don't yeah. wanna if they're not into it like they're not into it and also i'll tell you one of my friends was telling me with her boyfriend she was just like not in the mood and he's just like you're made of gold or what that you think you're so pricey like i'm t- like you know like i'm t- asking you for so long let's do it and you're not in the mood you're not in the mood for how long we're not in the mood uh, not be in the mood you're made of fucking gold like what are you made of that i can't touch you like yeah, what the fuck up. is this? Like what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's like no, up. it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't that's fucking work like thing. that. <laughs> it's not like you're made of gold. You're made of butter. You don't be pricey. No, the person wants their space. You don't own him. She doesn't own you. If you want your space, she wants her space. You fucking give it. You give that bloody space. Who you don't literally you don't own anyone not even your dog you fucking own you need to give people animals things you need to give their own space you can't keep controlling i know people who cut off the wings of their birds so they don't fly away like i can name them after this show and it's just like what kind of people are you you know like i spayed my dog just now spayed it's like population control that is I think right now necessary because so many go to the pound and they just get killed off. So having so many puppies yeah. and all at this point makes no sense. That it increases stray population and all that stuff. You didn't cut off her legs. No, I'm just, yeah. I want I want a dog that runs around. Dude. I'm talking about wings. <laughs> Jesus not, not Christ. The, not like, you know, <laughs> he cut off the wings. 
he is demented wings, you know like he was so the fucking fly. demented so like if, if you don't want wings you could have got a kiwi <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the exactly. Birds. Yeah, and the other thing was, oh, we didn't want a bird to fly away. <laughs> Fuck! Then get a pet that can't fly. Yeah, so it's like what? You get a bird without wings? Like, come on! Like, it it is... cut off the wings. Like, not get a bird without wings. You get a bird. And... <laughs> anyway, up, leave that. Yeah. But it's just like the person asks for space. You give that space. You're married. You're dating. Oh, yeah. You're anything at all. You give that fucking space. Like every person, you know, like the comfort level is so important. If you're not comfortable to get physical in that moment, you give, you know, like, and the you continue, you continue, see, you know, like, uh, pester them yeah. to give it. Like what the person will give it eventually. You know, like they'll just give like, oh no, what fucking like do whatever you want to do, do it to. But what it's not fun. Yeah, it's not like you know. There's like for example, like something similar happened. Like, and I'll tell you why. I'm not talking about this just from any. Like, yeah, like my friends have been in the situation. Like, I was in one where uh, like a chick got on to me, and she's just like, "Dude, fuck me now," and I was like, oh, "Not really in the mood." She's mm-hmm. like, "You like, don't be a bitch, like fuck me now." I was just like, "Man, like, can we like maybe another time, right?" Yeah. And she's like, "Man, don't be a fucking basket." Everything she came, she sat next to me, and then she, she like made out with me. Anything when you fucked her, because you only say that. Girls don't feel anything when I fuck them. So what it's really it? small. I'm not endowed. Like you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not hanging big over there. Wow. <laughs> but like, so open about it. See, see, for all I say, if they if they be coming back for seconds, I mean that means. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nichols, no, but the thing is, she came and I was very like I didn't really enjoy it, right? But at the same time, I didn't like. Obviously, I felt like yeah, that thing was. Like pressurized, like it was yeah. more like Nikhil do it, do it, and then he was like, okay, if it gets you to shut the fuck up, fine. Like, and we we banged, like you know, it got exactly. done. It was like, like a twenty second procedure. That, yeah. Like, I'm just kidding, not twenty seconds, <laughs> but like. It took you or her twenty seconds. Which one do you want to believe? Which one is more believable that I can get a girl off in twenty seconds? I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. Like either one is not a problem. No, no, no. People do it like in what ten seconds? Exactly, personal record of mine. Ten seconds. Three and a half. <laughs> oh, that's like in and out and it's done exactly it saves time <laughs> imagine wow. you can do it between meetings you can do it before a maggie gets I fully cooked i have just cooked. turned asexual <laughs> listening to this you're just not interested in guys or girls or anything no. anymore <laughs> it's happened another time as well where like there was like a chick who was just like all over because she was just like crying for this thing and i was like oh fuck whatever like it just crying felt for sex yeah like it, yeah like it wasn't even like I'd, you just do it because you wanted to get it done they cannot never even can even think about saying oh you fucking forced me into this what all i'm trying to establish is that the rules have been reversed in many situations where like the moment the girl gets like a thing that okay iski gaan marna hai like fuck it and then they just go like oh you know in this situation you fucked me over and like you know this is now assault and i'm just asking you can you consider that assault like because i i haven't like it's happened to me and i haven't considered it as assault so do you think it is assault or like like don't get me wrong i'm not saying the guy if the no, rules are reversed it's not assault if the if the not. rules are reversed right and if yeah. it's a guy like if a yeah, girl if rules is reversed or not like i understand what you're saying but no it's not assault you can demonize just, a guy but it's still wrong it's still it's wrong, wrong. you like still emotional like hatya chart type of yeah, things you know but like, it's not assault like it's not physical it might be like emotional assault to be honest it is in a way it, it is, is no no it is, it is it is emotional because, you know, what you might shit. have faced might be very minor but some 100%. people face like constant fucking yeah, pestering like what oh, dude what are you like i'm with you and you're not doing it with me what's the that point of dating what's the point of problem. being married to you that is a problem yeah. that's why even marital rape comes and that's a that's very much a yeah. thing that needs to be addressed like the point is that do you think that there's a spectrum like because if the rules are reversed and if it's a guy who's telling a girl that are like let's bang no, no let's that bang. is also no, wrong yeah it's it's not it's yeah of course it's wrong right you you, need to, you should if they say they don't want to they don't but if she just agrees because she just doesn't want to deal with your nagging ass yeah. right does that put you in the same league as Harvey Weinstein or like the other guys who've done worse like can you does this mean that this guy needs to have his life destroyed over shit like this because i genuinely think that he shouldn't he needs to like he needs to be sat down and be taught that dude here's a fucking concept of consent your girl doesn't want to do it 
okay fine you want to just double check no, like I and then don't something. fucking do yeah, it yeah i got your like, question like just yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, it. give the dude an intervention yeah give I him a time out and do. if there's a repeated thing then you take action yeah. like if this like if this like this dude doesn't fucking understand but only thing rehabilitation and like explaining the concept to some people who because people still live it, in this I fuck- got it yeah no no i'm just saying even up outside of this people live in this world where they think that sometimes it's only body language and that it's okay to you know persist and in a in an age where each thing can be misinterpreted don't do you think that maybe just maybe rehabilitation spreading awareness and talking about it and engaging in those talk like conversations yeah is more important yeah, of than course. demonizing someone immediately yeah. and killing their life and talking shit about them like i feel like this has has happened to you yeah, it's happened to me where people have just talked in general and i'm just like you don't even know the full story of what fucking happened bro like yeah. like you're just out here chatting shit about something you may have heard like okay okay i'm moving on but um yeah okay fine coming back to your question or oh, this is not something every i'll tell you honestly this is not something i can be like no you cannot demonize a guy for this or you, you cannot demonize a girl for this every situation is so different i cannot say something and say like you know okay. this a uh, no for this guy shouldn't be you know so persecuted on every situation is different like i cannot to what an to what extent a girl or a guy faces this kind of emotional uh, turbulence or whatever it is i can i i can't you know you can't say yeah, yeah it's not a different. blanket thing but that again this brings into conversation no, that it's, it's a very petty like you know like let's do it babe babe let's do it babe 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 yeah just that like that's like way. okay like come on that you can deal with easily or like you know speak to him or i don't think that needs i i but really, it needs it needs conversation it, it needs, needs conversation but it doesn't need like you know go to the mohalla and scream to the world like my boyfriend is a rapist my husband is a rapist yeah, my wife is a rapist people, my girlfriend yeah. is a rapist but you need to know you know yeah. uh, where of course it's it's very important to know what needs a conversation and what needs action and what needs punishment there are three different exactly things. that's exactly yeah. what i meant there's like a spectrum like you know yeah there is of... a spectrum and only the person who's going through it mm-hmm. will know what to what so it's always important to know like not to get you know jump ahead and not to like really you know find a uh, revenge in anything like if it can be handled with a conversation do that handled by action like you know intervention or rehab or something like that okay but and then if something needs punishment like rape or anything you know like molesting harassing then you know you see you see what what suits what but everything- yes you thank you for watching the chronic nirvana podcast and if you aren't following us on instagram yet What are you waiting for? What mm-hmm. are they waiting for? Make sure you do right now like before you yeah. stop everything you're doing and follow us on Instagram right now at Tonic Nirvana 100%. And if you have any friends that would like to be a part of the podcast, has an interesting story to say, please let us know in the comment section below or on Instagram. And if you feel like you yourself have an interesting story to share and want to be a part of the podcast, make sure you DM us on Instagram or just leave your suggestions down in the comment section below on YouTube or on Instagram or wherever wherever we yeah. put out the podcast. Honestly, 100%. <laughs> and if you don't have the time to watch a Chronic Nirvana episode, please do check out the Chronic Nirvana clips on YouTube and get yourself a new job. <laughs> so this is Nikhil and I'm Dakshay and, and this, this is Chronic Nirvana. Nirvana.